Hello, my beautiful Pisces! Welcome to a sneak peek energy for the month of May. Sneak peek, that could be what's coming in, what's coming along, or where you are hitting, or what energy you should embrace this month, or what the divine sends to you to fulfill. And of course, what blessings you might need to see and embrace. As a general reading, now always that this might resonate with you highly or might be here and there a message. Take it accordingly and let's not be judging. Gemini's. We have an Eight of Cups underneath. We have the Magician. We have the Empress. Look at this Empress. So, so beautiful. The Knight of Cups. And the Ace of Wands. Two of Pentacles. So look at this, loves. You, you want something new. But you having or getting that new energy, you must leave something. You can't take it with you. You can have it all, or you can drag something after you. There's something here that needs to be left behind. If you really want something that you're manifesting or the new energy. Still doubting in? Quite a lot. Some of you feel like, well, why should I leave this behind? To get something new. Why the, the world cannot be taken. But the universe says you can't. You got to make peace with the past. Or with some kind of situation. And there's also a lesson into that. With the page of swords. Two of swords. And the tower. There's something here also about accepting the change. Accepting that something here needs to go. Because the tower comes in and you want or you don't will happen sooner or later two of pentacles king of swords it's kind of get get ready or be ready or get clear for some of you this is something here about the legal situation or it's kind of sooner the better no matter whatever that is. We have twos here. But let's see here. What's the two of swords here? Yeah, there's a lot of resistance here with the seven of wands. The hermit. And the world. Is this truly done and over? Is this over? Yes. With the world, justice, and tower, this really speaks from different planes, different, you know, ways. There is something here done and over. Or it's kind of like sooner or later it will be over. The tower moment, you know, this is an aha moment for some of you that you... You gotta make a choice. No questions asked. You gotta make a choice. I don't wanna make a choice. Maybe there's other ways, but the tower moment will tell you if you're not gonna make a choice, I will make a choice. Because tower judgment and lovers, the universe will make a choice for you. And sometimes we might not agree with the universe choice. So it's about you, loves. Even though the universe is choosing, you're still resisting. But something here is definitely over. O-V-E-R. Capital letters. Whatever that's over here. Well, that's two of pentacles here. Speaking of the devil. You... You're still holding on because the devil is the energy of um, 
I'm in charge. I gotta keep it on. I I'm in control. It's like a lot of control. Maybe I I should control this. Spirit says this is not up to you anymore. Yeah. There's too many things in the mix. Yeah. For some of you, you might deal here with a water sign, a Cancer Scorpio Pisces. But there's other things or other people in the mix here. And the sun. And it's kind of, it's better to, to move away from the situation than to stay in this situation. Because it's a crowded, very crowded situation here. With the devil, five of wands, three of cups, and the sun. You know. Sometimes it's kind of if you are holding tight or if you try to, to control it, try to, you know, stay there. It's kind of worth the sun. It's kind of like... Um, I'm gonna start new. There's something here you you are in the new energy or you are better in the new than in the world. The eight of cups speaking of we have temperance. You go into a more calm energy, more balanced energy. So definitely here you are leaving something. Eight of Pentacles. Working through a better energy. Eight of Wands. So the Eight of Swords is the one missing. It's like you you could be a victim of a situation. Or you could be stuck in a situation. Or feel stuck in a situation. Then the universe is telling you, you are not stuck. You are not. And you don't need to drown in that situation. Allow it. Allow it, loves. Somebody has here moon in Sagittarius or moon in uh, sun in Capricorn, moon in Sagittarius. Okay. Definitely, I have water energy here. Was the justice here for? Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, it seems here there's a Gemini who are going to move forward. It's kind of um, getting back your energy. Somebody here eh, yeah, is involved with someone else. Five of Pentacles. Three of Wands. And the Hierophant. Yeah, somebody here might get through a separation, divorce. But somebody here is playing dirty. Okay. Whatever you are involved or they are involved. Or someone here you are... You really want to help or want to be with. But somebody here is definitely playing bad, playing dirty. Page of Swords. Three of Pentacles. Queen of Swords. It's kind of you, you got to put your focus on other things. Yes, there are too many involved here. Too many. For some of you, either it's a water sign, either it's an earth sign, you are. But somebody also has fire in the chart. There is a matter of a lot of money here. And yes, somebody here is not going to let things go just like that. What advice we have for you, darling? So some of you, you are caught in the middle of the hurricane. 
and you could be in this hurricane for over two years two years and eight months i'm getting here but yes let's see what advice we have for you a new beginning ace of pentacles a new beginning to a more peaceful energy ace of cups queen of cups so this water energy is you loves allow the new energy allow the change for some of you may have scorpio in the chart but definitely speaks here the new beginning looks much different than whatever or whomever you were dealing for some of you this could be a work situation but it seems here you are gonna feel much happier in this new beginning or this new layout you are moving towards way way happier way more it's kind of in a much more quiet energy and less less drama or way less drama or no drama at all so think about your your mental health or your own health because for some of you this is about also your health free yourself from all this craziness yeah for some of you you try to help a friend here could not be love you try to help a friend but it's better to not could be a work friend or someone at work but it's kind of it's not up to you to fix somebody's problems or it's not up to you to uh, to help something that somebody can't see okay so that's uh, quite a thing here for you loves feels quite a heavy load but yeah the universe wants you to 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 remove yourself from this drama I I see you quite involved in something so if you are feeling you're not involved in someone's life or anything whatever here you are involved there is kind of a, a better way to live way better way way more peaceful way more balanced way, well more it's like the quality life that you really want you can have it but again death something needs to go i have way too many cards of ending whatever that ends and it's kind of like you you might feel like i don't want to lose it all or i don't want to cut my losses but sometimes cutting your losses at the right time doesn't feel as lost as much as a blessing so call it a blessing in disguise here because something here could be you know put on your shoulders which you might not be wanted to i feel here the divine tries to tell you here that we are protecting you by taking you away that's why the tower that's why the judgment like the universe wants you to move you somewhere else because the divine wants to protect you okay whatever here emotional involvement you've been into you know it's time so lovely Gemini's that's what I have for you at this time I hope this resonates I hope this speaks to you if it does let us know and let's go see ya darlings bye for now